Neuron Galaxy, a story from Morphonics about your brain. When you were very, very little, a tiny baby neuron grew inside your head. The baby neuron was lonely. It wanted to connect to neuron friends. The baby neuron sent out branches. The branches went and felt around for other neurons. Look, the branches found a neuron friend. All they had to do was reach out. What joy! The neurons reached out to find more friends, and they found them, more and more of them. All the neurons talked and shared information. The more they talked, the more new friends they found. They formed many pathways in a big network. Lots and lots and lots of different kinds of neurons connected. Each type had a different job, like members of a team. But what were they all talking about? What is a neuron anyway? A neuron is a brain cell, a teeny tiny cell in your brain. How teeny tiny is it? So tiny you can't see it with your eye. You need a powerful microscope. So tiny you could put 500 of them in a space as small as the dot on this letter I. The cell body of a neuron might be small, but its main branch, which is called an axon, can be long, as long as three feet. That's so it can reach other neurons and make your toes wiggle. When you were a new baby, you could only say, goo, 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 and ga ga ga. You could wave your arms. You could wiggle around. You waited for mom and dad to feed you. But the baby neurons in your brain were growing bigger as you grew bigger. They kept connecting to one another. Pretty soon you could stand up and walk and say hello. What are all those neurons inside your head talking about? What do they do? Neurons are the cells that make your brain go. Your brain is the organ inside your head that helps you walk and talk and dance and think. Because of your neurons, because their branches connect like shaking hands, you can see your friend, and say hello, and shake hands. Because of your neurons, you can learn new things in school. Because of your neurons, you can remember what you did last week. Because of your neurons, you can draw a story. Because of your neurons, you can ride a bike. Because of your neurons, you can breathe and swallow. Because of your neurons, you can feel happy or sad. Every time you do just one of these things, tens of millions of neurons spark and connect in your brain. How many neurons are in your brain? Lots! 100 billion, that's 100,000, thousand, thousand.
That's as many stars as are in our Milky Way galaxy. By the time you've grown, there will be so many axons connecting your neurons that if you put them end to end, they would circle the Earth. Four and a half times. As you grow up, the neurons in your brain keep shifting and shaping their connections. Some pathways grow stronger and some go away. It all depends on how you use your brain. When you read books or learn a new dance, those neuron pathways grow stronger. The unique and special ways your neurons connect are what make you, you. There's no one else exactly like you in the world. You can thank your brain for that. And don't forget to take care of all those hard-working neurons and keep them healthy because they take care of you. As you go through school and get to know your neighborhood and travel to other places, you shape your brain and your brain shapes you. Your brain is one of the most amazing and wonderful things on Earth. It helps you understand how amazing and beautiful our Earth is. And our solar system. And our galaxy. Remember, you have as many neurons as there are stars in our galaxy. If you take care of them and help them make new connections, they will help you appreciate the beauty and awe of your friends, the planet, the galaxy, and the vast universe beyond them.